I'm Joanne. And I'm Adrian. And welcome to another fabulous edition of Material World, a world where you don't wear something unless we tell you to. Thanks, Joanne. In the international news, the fashion world was shocked when the Queen of the Catwalk herself, Miss Naomi Campbell, was the centre of attention for all the wrong reasons. The supermodel tumbled to the floor while modelling eight-inch Gucci heels during Milan Fashion Week. When the audience laughed, the infamous diva stormed backstage. Material World would like to tell Miss Campbell to forget about the media coverage and she'll be back in them letters in no time. Isn't that right, Joanne? That's right, Adrian. Unfortunately, though, fashion can have its negative effects on people, if that's possible. The feature which you're about to see depicts the struggle of a young woman against her shoe fetish. It was documented on the advice of Shoeaholics Anonymous and the young woman in question to expose her destructive relationship with shoes and to show similar people out there that they are not alone. Take a look at this. <laughs> a problem for as long as I can remember. It's something I just can't control. I mean, I've tried, but I just can't help myself. I have tried, but nothing seems to work. Nothing. From a very young age, I was obsessed. I used to wear my mother's shoes, and I gradually built up my own collection. I went everywhere, shops, flea markets, factories. I even resorted to higher purchase. I get so much pleasure from shoes. They actually make me happy. Of course, though, it has its dangerous side. I'm in debt. My third mortgage, mortgage application has just fallen through. And there's other implications. <laughs> I have a passion for shoes. It's as simple as that. At present, I probably have four, five hundred pairs. But of course, I don't wear them all. My favourite pair are my Modo Blomics. They weren't that expensive, only three thousand. But I love them. Some people say I'm like carrying sex in the city. But it's not so glamorous. I haven't had a boyfriend in years. actually quite a common one, more so than you would think, and it's become more prevalent since the advent of uh, washable leather. These addicts, shoeaholics, can be likened to heroin addicts, often turning to crime to pay for these horrible debts which they incur due to their love of buying shoes. And far away from the image of a traditional shoe fetishist, it's not just high heel shoes, all sorts of shoes are included in this shoeaholic syndrome. It's become more prevalent as well since the advent of uh, Sex in the City and a lot of women have uh, noted Carrie as one of their role models. We've done an awful lot of research on the subject, a lot of clinical trials, and we have set up Show Alex Anonymous, which meets every Wednesday at 2 p.m. There has been an awful lot of work done with these women. They are mostly women sufferers, but as far as we know, there is no cure for this condition. never do know who may be walking beside you with that same problem. And if you missed any of the details at the end of that feature, you can find them on Airtel page 340 or our website www.materialworld.com. Now, on a more positive note, it was a great day for Irish fashion yesterday when President Mary McAleese chose to wear a design by up-and-coming Cork-born designer Drew McAndrew. The design was an illuminating pink and really disguised the President's posterior problem. Drew's designs are now available to order, and you can find details about this on our website. Over to you, Adrian. Thanks, Joanne. For local news now, students of Mary Immaculate College were voted the worst dress in the country this week. The study was conducted by the Irish Fashion Association. A spokeswoman stated that the IFA are aware that Mary Immaculate students have limited funds, but the combination of tracksuit pants and deck shoes was a serious concern. 
They are worried that students will suffer from low self-esteem and social exclusion. On hearing the news, Student Union President responded to the IFE by announcing that a fashion officer would be elected next week and would address the issue immediately. What do you think, Joanne? Oh, it's totally about time, Adrian. Those students need a complete revamp, not too unlike a former BA student of Mary Immaculate College. <clears throat> Earlier this week, we received a letter of help from a group of students of a young, clueless primary school teacher. They described her as being a potential Kate Moss trapped inside the clothes of Margaret Thatcher. She may have got a first in Bachelor of Education, but here at Material World, she qualifies for an F in fashion sense. Me and Adrian had to come to the rescue. Take a look at this. We're right outside Jane's house. She doesn't know it yet, but we're about to give her a totally fabulous material world makeover. Yeah, she's completely at King James, but that's going to change now. Mm -hmm. Surprise! Oh, no, enough to eat you up. I eat your makeover. Oh, nothing. Look at this. Stay to you. I mean, come on. We need 30 CC for fashion to staff. Come on, Jane, show us what you got. <gasps> Adrian, is that a stripes and plaid combination? Tell me I'm hallucinating. Jane, Jane, Jane. Stripes and plaid, that's a major fashion faux pas. Oh, let's see your next outfit. It's time to see Jane's final ensemble. Fingers crossed. Come on out, sweetie. My favorite outfit. <laughs> oh, no, 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 Jane. That outfit violates so many crimes against fashion. I don't know where to start. The cut, the fabric, they're all wrong. Oh, you obviously don't have a clue. Me and Joanne are going to do what we do best, shop. We're going to get you the perfect party outfit and we're going to totally renovate your image. Doesn't he look great, audience? Absolutely fabulous. Mm -hmm. Just look at what we've created, sweetie. You are a perfect ten. Put the hood out the youngest of bed. Shush, 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 shush. Look at you. And check out this perfect amalgamation here of this leopard skin belt and this army camouflage. It just goes great together. And it's a very understated look of Christmas. Absolutely. It's totally vintage with a pinch of metro retro. Mm hmm. Totally fabulous. Your boss is going to love it, and that promotion is in the bag. But that, uh, I'm a primary teacher. Anyway, anyway, I, I, we're absolutely, doesn't she look fantastic? I think so. Because of us. Totally. Mwah. Didn't we do well, Joanne? She looks absolutely fantastic. And if you're having problems to get, to get gifts for that special person in your life, yourself, here's Chloe with some great Christmas gift ideas. Thanks, Adrian. It's that time of year again. Christmas is on the way. The shops are full of people buying gifts for their friends and family. It's all so tedious. It's time to shop for yourself. So I've picked out five special treats for yourself this Christmas. The first item is this fabulous Dior bracelet embedded with 30 different diamonds. It's absolutely amazing. A little on the pricey side at 7,000 euro, but it's worth it. So get saving. It's understated and elegant. Absolutely fantastic. Perfect for Christmas day at home with family. The next item are two handbags. Now, we all know green is the new black, so I've picked out two of the most fabulous green handbags around. This one is a little on the expensive side of 7,000 euro, but it has nine karat gold buckles and it's just a fabulous shade, beautiful, the perfect accessory to any outfit. The next green bag is this one. It's also beautiful, but it's perfect for anyone on a tighter budget. It's only 400 euro, so it really is a snip. Now, my personal favorite is this. It's a genuine faux fur scarf. It is really, really beautiful. It comes in black, white, and red. It is, of course, faux fur, because we here at Material World, we're a friend of the animals. That leads me right on to my final gift. The Maltese Terrier comes in white. It is so beautiful. Perfect size for any handbag. I have two at home myself. It really is the perfect Christmas treat for you. So I hope I've given you some ideas to treat the person who really does matter the most this Christmas, you. So go out, treat yourself. Now, back to the studio. 
Great. Thanks Great gifts, me. Chloe. Um, they'll certainly be on my Christmas list. And mine. Mm. Well, that's it for today's show. But first, here at Material World, we would like to wish you a blinging new Christmas. And a styling new year. Cheers. Cheers.